Right now at 5, Wisconsin's Department of Justice investigating a hostage situation in Kenosha that ended in a deadly shooting with police. Now, authorities say the suspected gunman died last night. Mary Jo Ola talked to neighbors in that area. Bernie Snowden ran into Kenosha police as he tried to go home Monday night, unaware of what was happening next door. He said, get out of here. I said, I live right there. He said, I don't care. Get out of here. They're shooting at us right now. And then I got you. And I put it in reverse. He showed us where one of the bullets pierced through two of his porch windows. Everything unfolded right after Bernie made a last minute decision to run an errand. I honestly feel like God was watching over me. That's honestly how I feel about it. God got me out of the house. Officers were sent to this home on 56th Street near 13th Avenue for an active shooter report. As police approached, they were shot at. Police returned fire. Police made entry to the home as there were reports of gunshot victims and hostages inside the house with the shooter. Paul Bennett says he was taking the garbage out when he heard what sounded like multiple gunshots, then police rushing to the area. I don't know, I was just wondering what the hell was going on. <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, it's pretty quiet around here. Police say the suspected shooter died. Three other people were hurt and taken to local hospitals, according to the state's Division of Criminal Investigation, which is taking over the case. No law enforcement officers were injured. Bernie is more sad about this situation than anything. Take a breath. and I, I say that for anyone that might be watching. It's, take a breath. Slow down. It's all the shooting and all this. It's got to stop. It's, it, yeah. it's not the right way. The Kenosha police officers who were involved in the shooting are on administrative assignment. DCI did not disclose how many officers were moved or an update on the three people who were hurt. In Kenosha, Mary Joola, TMJ4 News.